Senator David Pocock. Thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. Recently, I had the pleasure of visiting the good people on Norfolk Island. It is a beautiful part of the world, some 2,000 kilometres out in the Pacific Ocean. There's an amazing, generous community spirit with families who've been there since 1856. If something is broken, the community will come together to fix it. And there's not much on that island that can't be fixed with the community spirit and elbow grease of the locals. However, one of the challenges that they desperately need the Commonwealth's support with is the cargo crisis unfolding on the island. The supermarket shelves are running bare. They're low on stock and being so reliant on tourism, tourist operators are struggling to have enough food to ensure that they can actually serve meals to their customers. It's a worrying set of conditions given how reliant they are on tourism. Whilst I commend the government for its decision to increase the number of air freight trips, the community has told me that they are still struggling to get supplies. Major investments are needed to support a modern and safe shipping delivery system for the island, particularly as not all products can travel via air freight, such as medical oxygen cylinders. Norfolk Islanders want to help, and I hope the government will reach out and consult with locals on how to overcome these challenges. I want to thank Norfolk Islanders for their hospitality and gener generosity. I ho hope to return soon and explore more of your amazing island. I was lucky enough to, to get across to Phillip Island and see some of the amazing work that Australian parks are doing over there. Thank you, Senator Pocock. Senator Rennick. Uh, 